Are you guys ready for the Scrapbooking With Me Boutiques YouTube hop? I know I am. I have my fall candle over there burning and it feels like fall. It's a little chilly here where I'm from. So my technique or what I kind of wanted to show everyone is how I take a, a kit and add my own little twist to it. Um, so it's kind of like a, I'm going to shop for my stash and show you kind of what I put together. This is the kit. Um, it's the After Dark Collection by Cray Paper. Um, this is our design team package. And we've gotten a lot of awesome stuff in this kit. But the project that I'm going to be doing with all of this, I kind of need to have a little more added to the kit. And I won't tell you what I'm going to make. You might figure it out as you look through some of the items that I'm going to put with this kit. Um, but that video will be uh, coming to you within the next couple of weeks when I get the, the project finished. So this is the Cray Paper After Dark kit, like I said, from our design team. Um, it comes with sheets of pick card stock, uh, pattern paper, ink, ribbon, uh, wood veneer, brads, and this really cool glow-in-the-dark embossing powder. So I'll move this on off to the side here. So when I'm making a kit, I like to put it in one of these, um, oh, these little cases. Um, it's a 12 by 12 case. I absolutely love it. Oops. I love to put all my kits, per se, in them. So this first piece comes out. Um, I've added stamps. I've... Um, I've had these pumpkin stickers forever, and I kind of want to use stuff up. So then when Halloween comes around again, I'll have, I can buy all new stuff. Um, I had these cat stickers. Um, this is from a paper collection that the boutique had last year, and it was a full sheet, 12 by 12 sheet, and all it had was numbers on it. So hint, hint. Um, I'm going to be using these numbers in my next design team project. Um, here are some other uh, cardstock pieces that I cut out of the tree, some bats and a skeleton. Um, I had this in my stash. Um, it's like a, it reminds me of a wreath, but I thought this would be neat to make a pumpkin out of. Um, I've got ribbons, rickrack, string here, and I have a bowl off to the side here that I'll show you that has more in it. Um, chipboard pieces, wood pieces, uh, frames, pumpkin, cat, spiderweb, all kinds of neat little yummy stuff in there. Um, you remember those plastic rings that you get when you go trick-or-treating? Well, my daughter had these a couple years ago, so I cut where your ring would actually be, and I'm going to use those. I grabbed a few buttons, um, grabbed a ring. Um, oops. Here are some more cardstock ephemera that I'll be using. I had cut this out of um, a piece of paper. I think that's a graphic 44. Five, if I'm not mistaken yeah this is a graphic 45 piece um, here's like a little banner that I cut out and possibly could be using that um, here are some tabs which I thought would look pretty cool in that project um, little chipboard pieces and I think this is graphic 45 also um, I don't know where I picked this up at, but I've had this for years and I thought, well, I better get it out and use it. 
more cardstock pieces, tags, cup cupcake liners. I just flattened them out, put them between a couple of books and flatten them out. Um, a bag. Here's a chipboard tree. What else do I have in here? Um, here are some uh, pumpkin stickers. Some dots. And then I had this, I'd gotten this from the boutique. And I thought, well, it has little, little owls on it. And I thought, well, that would be cute. Oops. Move this tray. Well, actually, let me show you what's in this bowl first. Oh. In this bowl, I pulled some more Halloween ribbons. Um, here it's like a glittered leaf. Um, there is some twine. This, I don't know where I got this at, but it's got like a fabric spider on it with some beads and so I thought that would look pretty cool. Um, I grabbed my um, uniball pin in white so that would look really cool on black cardstock. Um, here are some stamped tags. Here's a piece of acetate with a well, kind of like a when you touch it, it feels like velvet on top and it's a piece of acetate. Another tag, more ribbon. Um, I don't have much for wash Halloween washi tape, but I grabbed what I had, kind of like a black and white polka dot, a chevron, and then some stars and some Halloween colors. Um, here's a pumpkin, and it's felt with a sticky back on it. Here's a ticket. I have paper clips. More cardstock die cuts, paper clips, another button in there. Here's a piece of leather, which I thought that would be really cool to use. Okay, so all that goes back in there. Okay, some other stuff that I pulled out of my stash. Um, here's some mine, my, mine, my mind's eye enamel dots. Um, here are some brads from Bow Bunny. Now some of these have like more of a, a kiddish look to them. Um, I'm going more for the kind of the antique-ish, I would say. I think that would be the word for it. More of the old time looking um, stuff. So I'll probably only be using these brads down here that have the, the glitter on them. Um, I pulled some 4x6 cards out, some 4 4x6 four and 3x4 cards, um, some other ephemera pieces here. Um, I pulled some 6x6 uh, six six sheets out of my stash that I thought would go. Some of it is graphic 45, some of it of it is, I think this is arsenic and lace, that one there. Um, here are some enamel dots and some Halloween colors, more brads and tags. And like I said, some of these are more of a kiddish and I'll probably use those some other project later on. Um, stickers, I picked up a uh, black with glitter this one is a uh, print shop. It's kind of like a taupe with a white stripe. Um, scraps. Here's another thicker. It's a gold with a slight glitter on it. Um, and cut apart sheet. This is from Graphic 45 Steambox Steampunk Spells. I thought that would be neat to cut up and use on tags or what have you. Stickers. Some of these stickers will work, some will won't, um, but just as I put my my project together, I'll pick and choose on what kind of stickers I want to use. Here's another sticker sheet from 
an eerie tale from Graphic 45. Here's Steampunk Spell stickers. Um, chipboard. Here's that Arsenic and Lace. Um, this was from a couple of years, about a year ago, I think we had this one in the boutique. Here is an October afternoon uh, sticker sheet. Um, here is another sticker sheet that I'll pick and choose from. Um, and another one. Oops. And I think that's... Oh, there's two more sticker sheets here. I've got one from our... Two of them from our Snick and Lace. So there's the stickers and the alphas. So that is kind of how I go about putting a kit together. You know, I'll go through my whole... My big... I have a drawer just of Halloween stuff. So I'll go through there, pick and choose, kind of figure out what my... My colors are going to be match stuff up with whatever the kit I start off with. But, yeah. So, I can't wait to get started on my project. Um, be sure to look in the comments box below. It'll sh show you all of the other links um, to all the other videos that will be posted in our YouTube hop. Be sure to read it because there are rules that and kind of like a how-to and what you need to do on each video. Um, and I think that is it. So don't forget to like, subscribe to all the other ladies. Leave a comment. Um, there is a little information down there. If you were watching my video, you might have seen a secret word somewhere. Uh, so be on the watch out for the others that will have secret words. And that will... Um, in the comments, it'll show you what you need to do. Have fun watching the other ladies. Take care.